We're back with the cult today. Yes. We got Firewoman, which was a request from John. This is not his first request, so thanks for the continued support, John. We yes, appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. But he did say that this song he thought represented somebody on the channel, and it sure as hell isn't me. <laughs> I don't think I'm the Firewoman here. You're not the Firewoman? No. So, uh, we, you know, John had, had sent us this request and then, uh, he had made a joke and said, you know, I think they wrote this about Sam. <laughs> and I blushed a little bit and was like, no. <laughs> uh, well, you don't know what the song is about. So it may be a compliment or not yeah, so much. I guess, I guess. And, um, he, you know, but he made a joke and said they wrote it about her in 1989 <laughs> and, and Sam is, is, we'll say not one that would have been born in 1989. <laughs> no. So therefore they were obviously prophetic in knowing who Sam was going to be. Um, anyway, so uh, we don't know anything about the cult. This is our first time reaction to them. On yeah, the I've never heard of them. So I'm interested to see what this is all yeah, about. Apparently they were gothic punk vibe and then transitioned to a rock sound. So yeah. I'm not sure where this falls into the category of what sound it's going to be. Um, no, you know. and we have a question for you guys as to what year did they originate from? Yeah, so if you know the answer, you can let us know in those comments. If not, yes. no worries. We'll tell you at the end of the video. You just got to stick around. Yeah. So uh, like I said, don't know much about the cult. Um, I think they just kind of transitioned their name. It was the Southern Death Cult originally, and then it was the Death Cult, cult. and then just the, the cult. cult. So just kind of kept condensing it. Yeah, maybe that's a little was a, was a little more friendly to the mainstream. Yeah, easier to remember too, right? Yeah, well, I mean, the cult, you know, it's like doesn't sound as bad as the Death cult yeah fair <laughs> not as aggressive right so uh, anyway so let's let's get into it see what it's all about and cool. uh, just as usual guys remember to hit the like button and subscribe comment we always appreciate yes. that stuff so if you want to do that again on this video we'd love it thank you so much let's go with the cult yes let's do it So it's a definitely got an 80s feel to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you want to dance and it's like upbeat and fun, well, playful. Yeah. The sound yeah. is 80s. Yeah. The hair, <laughs> 80s. It looks like mine. Well, Long, that's what I was, dark. That's what I was going to say. Is It's funny that John had mentioned that because 
he's kind of modeling his image after you or vice versa. Maybe you actually knew who this was beforehand. And you're like, I want to look like the guy from the cult. <laughs> yeah. I was watching this and I was like, he's got some nice luck, l- luck, long fish it. I can't speak. <laughs> long luscious hair. Is that yes, what you're trying to thick, say? Thick, luscious, <laughs> long hair. <laughs> that all got blended into one. Yeah. Um, and I think I, I may have saw a little bit of lipstick as mm, well. Interesting. But it's really, you know, got a rock sound to it, you know, mm, but it still makes me want to like, jam out and like dance and stuff yeah like it. it's not uh, like too heavy yeah see but you like to equate rock with on not being able to dance yeah i just i don't ever really <laughs> this I is don't just know. not your intuitive thought right of yeah where you're, you're, to me like usually when i think of rock i think of like head banging yeah, that's kind of heavy rock metal. you know yeah i guess <laughs> that's I guess. head banging and heavy sorry metal. guys i'm still figuring all this out <laughs> no i'd say it's just i mean i think that's both of us right i that's the way before we started the channel i wouldn't think that you could dance to rock music yeah so like maybe much. like bob but yeah. like you know <laughs> but uh, we haven't listened to some of this you know 80s rock stuff yeah. right where it is a little more vibrant like we did mm-hmm. uh um, Motley Crue is an example yeah. of that, right? Up tempo, still punchy, mm-hmm. still catchy. I yeah. think that kind of not. I wouldn't say is like. I wouldn't say this song resembles that, but yeah. it's got a similar '80s like sound, hair band in. sound. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. Um, and they've got the hair to go with it. Uh, it is a little bit, you know, heavier. I think between the two, it's kind of a be- mm-hmm. a blend between that heavier sound and the rock sound as well as a ballad. It's kind of a mix of everything. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I would say, I would say I do notice like, Oh, I wouldn't say it's a bad vocal by any means, but I think some of the other groups that we've done, the vocal has stood out a little bit more to me. Okay. Um, so I think he's a good vocalist, right? I think he's, you know, and maybe in other songs he might show it off more, but if you're going to compare this to some of the other 80s stuff that we had done, these other groups, I think some have a little bit stronger of a vocalist and maybe that's separated. Why? You know they were more popular than yeah. the cult was but yeah i think listening to this like i definitely don't like have anything against his vocal i just think that the mix of it like how it's blended in with the instrumentation is that it maybe doesn't stand out as much because i feel like the instrumentation is also pretty predominant in it yeah. so i feel like for me like i'm loving the vibe of the song but i'm having a harder time picking up all of the lyrics 100 yeah. which i feel like on a first listen is kind of challenging yeah but. i mean that's what part of vocal being a vocalist right is being having the clarity yeah. as well right yeah. so but the mix does matter too I I think this is generally a lower volume mix like i had to turn up my mm. volume on my headphones okay. quite a bit yeah. so that could play into it as well
heard it here first. Samantha is to blame. <laughs> All right, well, that was the cult, Firewoman. <laughs> you liked it? Yeah, it was good. It was fun. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. What was fun? Him on the floor or the song? <laughs> A little bit of both. It actually, you know, when he was on the floor for a second there, it gave me flashbacks to Rod Stewart for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what song that was. Yeah, that we did. it was the sexy one. The um, Yeah. Yeah, I forget. Do you think I'm sexy? Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was definitely, I said, you know, midway through the second portion that we were listening to, it definitely felt pretty rocky to me. It had mm-hmm. a rocky sound to it. Yeah. Much more of the, than the ballad aspect, but I think they just thrown... Had, had thrown in little pieces of a ballad sound, mm. maybe to give you a little switch up. Repetitive chorus as well, you know, make it catchy and make you think about the yeah. firewoman aspect. Yeah. And, Smoke on the horizon. Yeah, and uh, so I, I thought, you know, it was it was a good song. I, I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't say it was like one of my favorites on the yeah. channel, but I, I did enjoy it. I thought it was, you know, uh, fitting, like I said, for the decade that it was in. Yeah, and I liked that it was like upbeat. It was catchy. It was fun. Like uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, are you gonna just play this for yourself so you can hype Maybe. yourself up? Dance as around the, fire the apartment. Woman. Yeah. Call the fire department. <laughs> See my theme song. I am the firefighter. Just so you know. <laughs> He's gonna be like, no fires. I'm gonna put those out. Yeah, we put out the fire women. No, that doesn't even that doesn't even sound good because it's like, why would you want to banish someone's flame? It just doesn't seem like a good thing to <laughs> no. do for a partner. No, definitely not. <laughs> so I won't. I'll only do it when the fire gets out of control, and that's what firefighters <laughs> are here for. If I get for. too, uh, you get to my head too much. Fire's okay, right? Like you need fire sometimes to cook yeah. things, and, you know. But if it gets out of control, then you got to have somebody there to keep it in check. Yeah. Can't let the fire go to your head too much. All right. That's it from us. We're just going to give you that answer to the His pop answer. quiz that we, yes. we asked you. And the answer is what, Samantha? 1983. Well, give them a reminder of what the question was. <laughs> what year did the cult form? And, and that, the answer is 1983. Yes. So we hope you enjoyed our reaction. If you did, just remember, hit the like button for us. It helps with your algorithm as much as it does ours. So we appreciate when you do so and you get the content that you want. We've got lots of content of music, sports, yep. and comedy. So if you like that stuff, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and we'll make sure that we drop something for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.